Hey guys, welcome to Tech Notebook, and in this video we will be taking a look at the Python Colorama module. So this module allows you to print text in the terminal in a bunch of different colors, as you can see here. It also allows you to highlight text and make it bold and a lot more. And so I'll be showing you how to do that in this tutorial. So let's get started. Okay, so now we are in the Colorama Pi Pi. Uh, description and right here the first command shows us how we need to install Colorama. It's just pip install Colorama, just a basic uh, pip installation. So we will open up our uh, BS code and we'll need to go into the terminal and in here we'll just need to type in pip install Colorama. Hit enter and it says that the requirement is already satisfied but it should install for you. So now we need to create a new file. I'm just going to call this video.py. Call this whatever you want. And in here, we will first need to start off by importing the Colorama module. So to do that, we just type in import Colorama. And now we need to type in another command, which is Colorama.init. So I'll explain what this does in a bit. And now we can start typing in our commands. So the way Colorama works is it scans our print commands. So we'll start off by typing in print. And it scans these for Colorama attributes. So to say make the text red, um, we can just type in Colorama dot for, which means it's a foreground, dot red in all caps and say our text is going to be hello world we just need to add a plus there to concatenate it and we just type in hello world it's pretty simple so what this init function does is it just tells the colorama module to start listening for these uh, these attributes right here so now if we run this we should see hello world in red in the terminal and that's exactly what we see here. It's red. If I were to come up here and change this to green, you can see that change reflected here as well. Same thing, blue. You can see that too. So if you want to see the rest of these commands, you just need to look at the VS Code autocomplete. You can see all of these right here, blue, black, cyan, green, and there's so much more. So I'll, I'll just set this to, let's say, red for now. Okay, now let's go over how to highlight the text. So highlighting the text is basically changing the background color of the text. So uh, to change the background, we just need to change a few um, parts of this attribute right here. So we'll just copy this line, paste it right under it. And we'll change four to back, which changes the background of it and we'll keep the hello world text. So if we, pr uh, if we run the Python file, we can see that we can't see any of the text right now. And that's because this for tag, uh, this for attribute is still in effect. So uh, it takes the for tag and the back tag and it merges those together. So the text is red and the background's red and at the end you can't see anything. So if we want to clear the formatting on this, what we need to do is we need to type in print colorama dot for dot uh, reset right here. And what this does is it just clears all of the foreground formatting and this will just set it to the default in the terminal, which is white. So now if we run this again, we can see that we have hello world in white. So this is still a bit hard to read right now. So let's just change the foreground text to black. So the way we do that is we can just uh, add attributes back to back. So we can add this and we can type in colorama dot four dot black. There we go. We just add this on. And now if we run this again, we can see that the hello world text is black and we can actually see it now. All right, so now let me show you how to change the brightness of the text. 
So this will basically allow you to change the brightness between dim text, which is probably just like not important logging text. We can have normal text, and then we can also have bright text that like stands out in the terminal. So the way we do that is by using the Colorama style attribute. So we need to go again, uh, print Colorama dot style this time dot and then we can make this bright dim or normal so let's just pick dim for the first one and we can uh, add that with again uh, hello world and you know what this is kind of getting repetitive let's uh, change this up to let's say YouTube and now oh I forgot we need to actually clear the uh, Ba uh, background and foreground again. So we will reset the foreground and background here. So for and back. So that way we don't have the previous formatting. So we can print this out. And we see that YouTube, you can't really tell when it's not next to other um, attributes. So we will add a few of these. We'll make one bright, we'll make one dim, and one normal. So we'll have the dim one at the top, and then we'll make this one normal. We'll make this one bright. There we go. And if we print this, you can see that the dim just looks a bit dimmer. Normal just looks normal. And then bright, you can really tell it looks a lot brighter. And at the end, once you want to start printing everything normally, you can just clear all the styles. Uh, by typing in print style or sorry colorama dot style dot reset all so any text that you may have let's just say the foreground background or uh, the styles anything everything will get reset and then when we print this you'll see that if we print anything under this This is normal text again. If we print this under it, you can see that it is totally normal. It doesn't have any of the Colorama formatting and you can get back to just printing normal Python stuff. All right, so that's the end of this video. I hope you learned how to use the Colorama module and you can use this in uh, your future projects. So um, if you're interested in any tutorials like this, I have a tutorial published on my channel going over how to use the 12 data API, which is basically a stock API where you can get stock prices and other stuff. Uh, that'll be the first link in the description below. So with that said, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.